The philosophy that guides the department is to build on our diversity of interests to make something that's much greater than the sum of the parts. Most of the great scientific problems of our age are not going to just be solved by chemical engineers or material scientists alone. We need to get them together and working on projects where we can both contribute to coming up with a greater solution that will solve these great problems. No matter what you're specializing is you have to be exposed to different talents. Each of the PhDs coming from USC want to make sure that they have new areas to work with, to build new areas of emphasis, and we've been very successful in that. Right now in our lab, we're working on several different projects, and we're working on one project which should enable people to map out tumors and how they transition from being a less aggressive tumor to being an extremely aggressive tumor. And we're also working on several different materials-related projects, such as developing new types of nanoparticle imaging agents and nanoparticle diagnostic and therapeutic agents. So both of those projects are examples of how the materials and the chemical engineering departments work synergistically to enable advances in research. What's unique about our research group is that my advisor teaches us not to be afraid to fail. So she encourages us to pursue projects that might seem totally crazy, but she believes that we can do something about it. The most unique opportunity I said was to work with Professor Roberts and work in his lab. I really ended up liking the way Rich approached problems, the way Rich approached people. And then I came here, I talked to him, I talked to other students in his lab and realized how he runs the lab. And that really was what convinced me to come to USC instead of some other school. Also, there's only one Professor Roberts and there's only one person who invented a mRNA display. So that, I would say that's pretty unique. My approach is basically to try to put students on interesting problems. I, I like actually to some degree to throw students into the deep end and let them learn on their own. I think it's important for students to realize this is their career and they need to steer where they're going. And that's what I try to get my students to do. I really want them to come in and sort of take ownership of their own project, to worry about it night and day, to make it theirs. When I was looking for projects that I wanted to work on, and I was looking at USC in particular, one of the things that really appealed to me about NOAA's lab was that it gave me the chance to work on science that was good for the world and good for humanity. Where the rubber hits the road, it's really a case of having people together to produce great research. We really rely on one another to you know, generate new problems and generate solutions to those problems ultimately. The ideas that I'm most excited about are the ideas that will come here with the next generation of students.